Hey everyone, I just finished A Great and Terrible Beauty by Lilba Bray and I really don't know what to make of this book. Starting with how to summarize the story. We generally follow Gemma Doyle, a 16-year-old girl who lost her mother and has to go to boarding school. The story is set in 1895 and at the all-girls boarding school she somehow discovers her powers and witching and magic and yeah, things happen. And I think that storyline kind of flows and goes along, but I find it pointless. It's not going anywhere, really. There are a lot of things where I was like, I don't have enough information. I want more. I don't, I don't really know what motivates these people and anything. So that's what it's on the surface. And that was not very satisfying. On the other hand, I feel like this story is more about Gemma and her friends and them being like girls in 1895 and not being seen, not having any powers over their lives and generally the struggle for freedom and the desire to want to take charge and control of things and to really want to be people and to be seen and to be more. And this is more at the heart of the story, which is also interesting. Then there's a lot of other things happening and the characters in themselves are also annoying and interesting at the same time. Gemma is a 16-year-old girl who's very insecure and wants to be liked by everyone. So she does this stupid typical thing where you go and try to make the in-girls like you. And so she wants to hang out with the in-girls and somehow these in-girls are like really demanding and like typical stereotypical girls. And I just, I, I don't know. Gemma seemed very petulant and stupid and I didn't like that. She annoyed me most throughout the book and Felicity, the most liked girl, let's say it like that, she's power hungry like a lot of these stereotypical group leaders and she also was very flat. There were hints at more personality but that weren't given and overall I was just struggling with like not liking the characters, being interested in what happened, flowing through the book, because the writing is rather good and fast. And then there is a half-hearted love interest, which always frustrated me because it was there, but not there, and working out or not working out, hinted at, and bleh. most of the book I was just frustrated. Yeah, so. I got it because it was pretty popular at some point on booktube. It's been on my shelves forever. I can't say I didn't enjoy the read. I can't say it's a bad book. I, I just don't think I got it. I really was too much confused. So if you have read the book and especially if you liked it, tell me what you liked about it. And I don't think I'm going to continue with the series because it's going to be frustrating as hell for me, I think. Thank you all for watching and let's talk about a great and terrible beauty. Bye-bye.